Hello everybody, it's Victor here with the Marvel Universe Marvel's Greatest Battles comic pack. Uh, as you can see, this one comes with a uh, black costume Spider-Man and a uh, Doctor Doom. <clears throat> this if you notice the black uh, costume Spider-Man is a little bit different than the normal symbiote black costume. I'm uh, not too familiar with the story of this. But uh it's pretty much just a repaint or a color swap of the Future Foundation Spider-Man, which is uh, white, all white with the black insignia and markings. And as you can see here, the Doctor Doom is his typical green. He's all silver and whitish. Now this uh, picked up at Toys R Us, twenty bucks, so it'll be like ten dollars each figure. A little pricey if you ask me, but I think each individual they're like 11 at the Toys R Us where I'm near me, so I guess you kind of saved a bit of money there. And let's check the back of the card. Black costume Spider Man, Doctor Doom with Marvel Comic. It's a Fantastic Four. We got a picture of Thing in the back. Click both of them, sold separately, Spider-Man versus the Rhino. They also had this one at the Toys R Us where I picked this up at. But unfortunately I only got this one because $20 is a bit much. And I don't really care for Doctor Doom, but I wanted the Spider-Man so I got it anyways. And there's the read-up. If you want to read it, pause it. Barcode on the bottom. Alright, let's uh, open this up and see what we got. Alright, now that we have the figures out of the packet, we can look at the comic book and the figures itself. As you can see here, the FF, which I guess stands for Future Foundation, not Fantastic Four, uh, came with this. And it's more or less just. Uh, the aftermath of what happened after uh, the Human Torch died and Spider-Man joined the Future Foundation Fantastic Four uh, as long as uh, as well as the Doctor Doom and there's a lot of backstory between it so if you really want the know-it-all you can uh, check the Wikipedia okay let's take a look at the uh, Doctor Doom real quick. I'm not sure if this is a remold of any of the previous Doctor Dooms with just a color swap. It really does seem like it would probably be. Because there's not a whole lot going on here. You know, you got your basic Doctor Doom. And you got very minimal movements in the arms. It doesn't fully go to the side. You got the upper bicep swivel. And one joint... Uh, at the elbow, the rotating hand, uh, his head because of his uh, his hoodie, can pretty much just go left and right, not so much up or down, very limited. Now his cape is a whole separate piece, which is uh, very nice. This is very soft plastic, very flexible. Uh, he does have the upper torso diaphragm bend going on there, you know, uh, waist articulations. Uh, this little skirt thing here is also the very soft uh, plastic just like this, so it doesn't really hinder too much, so you could get a decent bend. Uh, now the knee has two points of uh, articulation there, it's double jointed. So you get a much better bend if you only had one. And the ankles are on a pivot. Or not pivot, a swivel. And you can rock them up and down. Not so much of a side-to-side -side pivot, it's pretty, you know, solid. 
And Dr. Doom does come with one accessory, a little pistol. It does not fit in his holster though, because the holster does not open. And it does not fit in his hand very well. It pretty much just falls right out. Yes, of course after I say that it stays in the hand for the video. But earlier it was falling out like constantly, I couldn't even keep it in. Well that's good. Let me put him to the side. Now let's take a look at the Spider-Man. No, no, I was uh, looking through the comic and let's see if I can find it. Uh, near the end of this, they seem to be being attacked by stuff and there's a very large amount of spider man I don't know if it's just him moving fast or if it's, there's actually multiples of him. And everybody seems to have switched to the dark suits in this part, so I have no idea what's really going on. The story confuses me. But yeah, there's the Dark Spider-Man. And you got your... You know, your basic uh, articulation that I guess you've seen in pretty much any other Marvel Select figure. Not Marvel Select, uh... Marvel Universe. You know, he could look up, look down, all the way around. Can't really pivot back and forth like that. And his shoulders joints, I don't know if it's just tight or if it's just not really moving very much, but you can't really get a whole lot of movement out of it. You could get a straight up though, all the way around. And you spin right there at the top of the bicep. I will bend, wrist bend. He has the closed fist on this hand. He has a somewhat open hand on this one. So I guess he could uh, hold on to his web accessory. That's a big old jumble of web. And that's up and down, left to right. Same with the waist down here. I don't know, it's kind of weird. You can't really move his leg backwards, his thigh, upper thigh, it gets stuck on his butt cheeks. But you do get the rotation right here at the the hip, the double double jointed knee. So you get a decent bend there. And you also get a calf swivel and an ankle up and down. Doesn't doesn't go uh, side to side, but you, that's what you, this is for. And you do got a pivot though, right there. So if you really wanted, you could get him into some fairly nice stands. And what I like is he doesn't come with the typical you know, web shooting pose hand that pretty much every Spider-Man comes with, which is annoying because you can't pose him in anything other than that. I'm not too sure how this goes on. I'm not a really big uh, Marvel Universe collector here, so I don't own very many of these. Actually, just the two. Oh, well, I guess it's not too bad. Ooh, you can swing. All right. Well, that's a fairly simple review here. I do like the Spider-Man, he looks really nice. The main reason I got this uh this set just for the Spider-Man. The white version is you know alright and all, but I really always like the black spider black suited Spider-Mans. Like the symbiote and everything version. There's a few paint uh errors here and there, but for the most part, he looks really nice. You know, if you like three and a quarter inch scale figures, you know, this will look really nice among your other ones. And take another look at the Doctor Doom, side by side. A little blurry. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Vectar with the Marvel Universe Spider-Man Doctor Doom Future Foundation Editions. Thanks for watching.